The bookworm turns could have been interesting. I love animations about literature and when book characters come to life. But apart from a few things here and there, I really didn't enjoy this. This is a 1940 MGM cartoon directed by Fritz Freelang and Hugh Harmon. And it starts off with the raven, as in Edgar Allan Poe's raven, realising that, well, thinking that there's something wrong with him. So he goes to see the doctor, as in Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, who decides to take this as an opportunity to have some fun with the raven and the bookworm. And he sends the raven to go to the bookworm because the bookworm will give him a brain. But not necessarily in the way the raven suspects. And I feel like the narrative, it could have been interesting. It could have been really enjoyable. But I feel like it was a little bit messy. It was a little bit chaotic. It just didn't seem to flow very well. And I just don't feel like it offered that much, to be perfectly honest. The animation quality, however, is beautiful. It's really stunning to look at. The characters look great. The design of them looks great. The design of the books, the backdrops, just everything visually is really stunning. And the narrative... I don't know, I didn't like it very much. I feel like it was interesting here and there, the concept of the Raven and, and, and Dr. Jekyll are both, you know, great characters and to have them represented this way is definitely works very well um, together. You know, they're both kind of very dark and gothic characters. But honestly, I just feel like maybe it was the bookworm. I didn't like the bookworm or his involvement. So for me, the bookworm, bookworm turns is not my favorite. I didn't love it. It's not the worst I've ever seen, but I feel like it definitely could have been a lot better.